today. Hi. You know I'm a Katie Anna's mother goose and I'm so happy to be with you here today. Every month I read a local author's book and I have a wonderful book to read today. I think you're going to enjoy it a lot. It's very colorful. This book is called The Journey of Little Red Tricycle. Zoe Meets Gumbo and it's by artist Virgie Banks and she's the author and the illustrator. So let's get started. Look how colorful this is. See? Okay. Zoe and her little red tricycle are off on a journey to grandma's house. Zoe is a colorful, multicultural little girl who can speak English, French, and Spanish. She goes and explores the countryside and learns new things along the way. Zoe will ask the readers to say words in English, French, and Spanish. It is Zoe's first time going to an old-time country Mardi Gras festival. The festival is a community get-together. They celebrate by playing music, catching beads, and chasing a chicken to make a neighborhood gumbo, also known as a soup. Zoe has never been to this festival, so she will join in and chase a chicken. She catches the chicken and names the chicken gumbo making it her friend, not knowing that the chicken is for a gumbo, a soup. Let's see what happens to the chicken. Hi, I am Zoe. I live in a big city and we are off to grandma's house. There is a Mardi Gras festival where my grandma lives. We are one hour away from grandma's. I brought my tricycle along on my journey. Can you say one, un, or uno? Bravo! See how the three words, there's English, and there's French, and there's Spanish. Do you have a tricycle? Is it red? Do you go to your grandma's house with your tricycle? Can you say red? Rouge or rojo? Great. There they are on their way to grandma's house. Hey, I am off to see Grandma my, and my friends Pablo and Jacques. They are my two best friends. Can you say two, do, or dos? Wonderful. That's great. You did such a good job, too. Pablo enjoys playing music with spoons on a scrub board when he rides his tricycle. Jacques cannot wait to ride her tricycle to catch beads. Zoe wants to catch chickens too. Jacques has on some blue shorts. Can you say blue in French and in Spanish? Let's try it. Bleu or azul. Very good. That was wonderful. Here they are right now on their tricycles. And there she is with her friends, Pablo and Jacques. And I think I might be saying Jacques. It might be Jacquet. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. 
Grandma, Grandma, I am so happy to see you. May I go to the festival with Pablo and Jacques? They want us to go to the festival at three o'clock. But I cannot go. I do not have a costume. Okay, can you say three? Three. In French, trois. Or in Spanish, three. Bravo, bravo. Yes, you may go to the festival with Pablo and Jacques. I made you a special Mardi Gras costume. The costume is mostly made with your favorite color, a bright yellow. Can you say yellow? In French, Jean. In Spanish, Amarillo. Hooray! That's great! There is Grandma showing her the costume that she had made for her for this Mardi Gras festival. And it's the old time Mardi Gras costume. My Mardi Gras costume is so beautiful. I like the bright colors. Red, yellow, green, and blue. Grandma, the pointed hat is so pretty. The costume size four fits me well. Thank you, Grandma. You're the best. Can you say four? Quatre? Or quatre? Bravo! Hooray! The costume looks so good on you. It has beautiful colors. Grandma knows that your second favorite color is purple. Are ready? Are you ready? Can you say purple in French, valet, or in Spanish, morado? Great, that was very good. There she is. And she has on the pointed hat that her grandma made for her, too. Let's see what else we have. Let's go play music, Little Red Tricycle, with the Zodico Band. The Zodico Band wants me to play five songs with them on my scrub board with spoons. Can you say Five? Can you say five? Sig or cinco? Very good. The Zodico band players are playing music for the festival. Zoe and her friends will dance, chase chickens, catch beads, and at the end of the day, eat gumbo, which is a soup. At six o'clock, the festival will end. Can you say six? In French, six. Or in Spanish, seis. That's wonderful. Very good. Let's see. Here is the French band playing, and playing with the spoons on the washboard, and one's playing the accordion, and one's playing the violin.
Come on, little red tricycle. Go faster. I want to catch me a pet chicken and name it Gumbo. Hello, Mr. Crawfish. Will you be my friend and catch me seven beads? Can you say seven? Sete or set? Hooray! That was wonderful. Very good. Zoe, Jacques and Pablo are trying to catch the chicken for a gumbo. Jacques goes faster on, on your brown stick pony, says Pablo. The first to catch some beads and the chicken gets Mr. Crawfish as a friend. Can you say brown? In French, brown. Or in Spanish, maroon. Great. That was wonderful. Here they are chasing the chickens on their tricycles and on their stick pony. Oh my goodness. That looks like so much fun, doesn't it? I just love the colors in this book. Miss Virgie Banks is, did such a wonderful job. Grandma, Grandma, look who I have as friends, a crawfish and a chicken. This is Mr. Crawfish and the chicken I will name Gumbo. It is a pretty chicken. It has white wings and tail feathers. Can you say white? In French, blanc. In Spanish, blanco. Bravo, bravo, very good. Grandma was surprised to see Zoe did not know the chicken was to be cooked for a gumbo. Instead, she played along so Zoe would keep it as her friend. So she cooked okra gumbo. Okra is green in color. Can you say green? In French, verde. Or Spanish, verde. Here we are. So she let her keep the chicken as her friend instead of cooking it in a gumbo. Isn't that great? And she made an okra gumbo instead. Mr. Crawfish jumps eight times out of his hole to shout hooray. Zoe on her little red tricycle are racing Gumbo down the road to see who will win. Can you say eight? Four or ocho? Bravo, bravo. Zoe on little red tricycle races with Gumbo down the road and they tie for the finish. Zoe's big black braids wave through the air while she rode her three-wheeler. Can you say black? In French, it's noir. In Spanish, it's negro. Very good, very good. Pape loads Zoe and the little red tricycle into his pickup truck and drives nine miles an hour so Zoe can wave goodbye and see Grandma and Gumbo in the distance. Can you say nine? Neuf? Or nueve? That's wonderful! Grandma waves goodbye to Zoe. 
Grandma will take good care of Zoe's new friend, the chicken named Gumbo. Zoe will be back in 10 months to see Grandma, Gumbo, Pablo, Jacques, and Mr. Crawfish. Can you say 10? That's 10. This or diez? Bravo, bravo. Very good. You'll have to be patient with me because I'm you saying some words that I have never said before. And hopefully I'm saying them correctly. Here they are driving back home again. For, um, Zoe's going back in the truck with her dad and her red tricycle. And Grandma's waving goodbye with, the, with her chicken gumbo and Mr. Crawfish. Did you enjoy this book? I thought it was really very, very nice. I had a tough time with some of the words. Yeah, I don't know too much French and I don't know too much Spanish, but I did the best that I could. And I hope that if you know the correct way to say those words, that you will teach someone else how to say them too. Let me tell you a little bit about the artist who wrote this book and all of her drawings. Her illustrations are from her too. The artist Virgie Banks owned a little red tricycle as a child and she would ask her mother to journey off to her friend's house next door. The memories of her young years inspired her to create a signature series of fine art paintings that she is most famous for. On her rides, she met many people and animals that she made as friends. Virgie decided to encourage children to hop on their tricycles and journey with her into the countryside through this book where she grew up enjoying festivals and zydeco music. Virgie's parents both were Creoles, descendants of French, African, Spanish, Native American, and Irish. She wanted to pay tribute to her family heritage by writing and illustrating about her wonderful life on her tricycle going to the countryside. This journey started off in a big city where most people do not know what a real chicken look and feel like, let alone a festival. Zoe will explore both on this journey to Grandma's house. Zoe quickly catches on to the festival, but not to the gumbo, which is a soup, which needs a chicken. So she kept the chicken as her friend. She didn't know that at this festival, when you chase a chicken and you catch it, you're supposed to put it in a gumbo for everybody to eat. But Zoe didn't know that. So when she caught the chicken, she made the chicken her friend and called her chicken gumbo. <laughs> the good news is that her grandmother didn't put her in the gumbo. Her grandma made that okra gumbo instead. So she, her grandma kept the chicken gumbo, named gumbo, at her house so that next time Zoe would come to visit, she'd see her friend. Let's see, but she didn't put it, she caught on to the festival, but she didn't catch, she didn't know about that gumbo, that soup, which needs a chicken, so she kept the chicken as her friend. Hope you enjoyed the journey. Thank you, Kendall Banks. So this is a nice little uh, write-up about the, the artist, an author, and illustrator, 
Virgie Banks. I just love the very colorful book. Let's see. And the pictures that Miss Virgie Banks has are wonderful. I'm familiar with her work. She has this wonderful series of red, red tricycles and um, it's so, so wonderful. So Zoe and Little Red Tricycle are on another journey and you can go with them. Come on, boys and girls. Hop on your three-wheeler like Zoe and go to the next adventure. And there's that picture again of Zoe in the back of her dad's pickup truck with her tricycle. That's, uh, that's a very cute picture. And here again, I showed you this in the beginning. This is Zoe and she's in her traditional Mardi Gras costume with the pointed hat with all her favorite colors in it. There's red and green and blue and yellow and orange and purple. So, and here she is, on, she's on her tricycle. And here she is with her chicken that she named Gumbo. <laughs> and she's catching a bead. So I just love this picture. But I want to thank Miss Virgie Banks for letting me read her book today and and enjoy the wonderful zo the story about Zoe meets Gumbo and the journey of the little red tricycle. It's just a very very nice book and I want to thank her for for giving it to me so that I could read it to you today. Wow, well, let's see. How about a quick nursery rhyme? But first I want to tell you that all of my shows that you have seen, they are available on Facebook. You can ask your parents about that. And most importantly, they are available on the special YouTube channel, my, my channel called Acadiana's Mother Goose and there's quite a few shows that you can see where I'm reading different authors books and also I had one particular show where my sister which is Acadiana's Mrs. Santa Claus she was on one month in December so you can enjoy her too but it was so great. Um, I hope you get a chance to go there and see it because it's so nice. Let's see if we can do one quick thing. Let's see. Bye baby bunting. Daddy's gone a hunting. Gone to get a rabbit skin to wrap my baby bun bunting in. Wee Willie Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown. Rapping at the window, crying through the lock. Are the children all in bed? It's past eight o'clock. Let's see. rock a -bye, baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby cradle and all. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick. Star bright, starlight, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Did you enjoy those? Let's see. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. When the blazing sun is gone, 
when he nothing shines upon, then you show your little light, twinkle, twinkle all the night, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that's a great, great, great nursery rhyme. I enjoyed that so much. Oh, goodness. Let's see. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Well, thank you again, and go see Acadiana's Mother Goose on the YouTube channel. Bye-bye.